السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته to everyone anywhere wherever you are I'll take you back again to 1978 when I was uh, setting my exam for English exam for my license for medicine I passed the medical and I always fail I'm not a, I'm not a good man or good or good student anyway I was uh, resetting the exam I think in Edinburgh in the north in Scotland in the north of uh, UK and at that time I said let me go a few days before to acc- to, uh, to be ac- yani acquainted with the culture with the with the weather and with with with, with. I was renting one of those rooms, a guest house, an old Victorian house. And next to me was two American tourists. They were all over 60s and they came, nice ladies, and they came and we were introduced to one another over breakfast. And the relationship between us developed quite good. And uh, one day, One of them said, let us go out for a walk and have a cup of tea and have lunch together. The message here, be careful, even when you mix with old ladies. Okay. I said, okay, fine. And from, from my own point of view, I was going out with them because I want to keep practicing English because I want to, to pass the exam. There's an oral exam and there's written exam, English. So on the day, that we were supposed to be going out, the three of us. I found only one of them is waiting for me downstairs. I said, when is your colleague? She said, actually, unfortunately, she's not feeling well. So me and you will go out together. We went out and we were walking in the parks in the middle of Edinburgh. Then we had, I think, lunch and we had tea and coffee and whatever you call it, whatever you call it, whatever you call it. Then I came back in the afternoon, relaxing. Then I started my study. And after starting my study, and then I study went on and on and on uh, till the evening, actually. And by 10 o'clock or before that or after that, I prayed my prayers and they went to sleep. And uh, after midnight, for my astonishment, I heard somebody knocking my door. I said, who is this? I don't know anybody in the city. No friends, no colleagues, nothing. I said, okay, let me wake up and open the door. I opened the door. I found the other lady who did not come with us to the walk in the morning, in the afternoon. And she came to knock my door. You know what she was wearing? She was wearing nothing from the bottom. And uh, from the top, uh, a shirt, which was open and tied around her waist. And uh, the young girl, And she was begging me to come in. I behaved like an idiot, like a sleeping man, like a fool. I said, well, fair. I'm, just, I'm tired, I need to go to sleep. And they did not go, want to look at her, but I don't want the devil to play at the back of my mind. Then I looked, I, I closed the door and I went to sleep, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately for her. Uh, but here the lesson is, Uh, be careful even with old women because they have the sexual desire and they can pay money sometimes for the young people to go out with them. This is number one. Number two, test if this one was not an old woman. Alhamdulillah, she was an old woman and she was a young one, different. Could I, could, uh, yani, will, will I, will I, is that could be easy for somebody like myself to resist her. Here, the Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the day to come is more very important because I remember on that day I used to recite uh, something uh, from the Quran that as I was يعني, explaining it wrongly that actually the decision of Allah is coming to you. Anyway, I was keeping my link to Allah's book and maybe this protected me from an old woman or even a young woman. So be careful, be careful, because when you become even friendly with old women, and this is what the Prophet ﷺ advised us to do, don't be uh, safe when it works with old women. They could also, they could also fool you 
and bribe you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa